So we got a little issue here. I don't know where this graph is going, up, down, left, right, and so forth. So again, I, I'm trying to write the equation. So before I can write the equation, before I try to determine you know, which equation should I use, let's plot the information. The focus is a point. 1, 1, 2, 3. Label it focus. So you don't want to confuse it with the vertex, right? You don't want to confuse that with the vertex. Then directrix is a vertical line, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Where does my vertex lie in this? Crap. Why is it at 2? Yeah, guys, look at look at this thing. Look at look at what you did. The vertex is in between. It's halfway between your ver vertex and your directrix, right? It's halfway in between. So if you're saying here's your focus and here's your directrix, then you're, yeah, you're right. There's my vertex. And you can just look at the graph you created and understand that, oh, it's at 2, 3, right? So my vertex is at 2, 3. What is the distance of p? How far is p to the focus? One. one vertex to your focus, but it's going one in what direction? Negative. So let's make our p negative, because it's going to the left. Okay. Done a different problem. Oh yeah. Okay. Then, um, what else we need to figure out? We got p. We got vertex. And oh, well. And now, do we have enough information to know where the graph opens up? The graph always opens up towards the towards the focus. So. like this. So therefore, which variable should be squared? The y. So y minus k. You do need to have these formulas, at least, the general formulas memorized. And then now we know h and k. That's h. That's k. And we know p. We're done. y minus k, which is 3, squared equals 4 times negative 1, times x minus h, which is 2. I just want to 